Well, the American Civil Liberties Union claims the Trump administration's sweeping restrictions are unlawful. Several organizations are planning to take legal action to halt the restrictions. Immigration attorney Nina Duda is joining us from New York to assess the possible legal challenges ahead. Nina, welcome to the broadcast. The Trump administration says this is not a Muslim ban, but it impacts people from seven Muslim-majority nations. Will this order hold up to legal challenges? Um, it's so critical for us to, to look at the, the bigger impact. It could very well um, hold up to legal challenges. I mean, if you look at the uh, executive action that uh, President Obama had passed, and there was a uh, injunction for in, from Texas that certainly held up. Um, this could definitely see some legal challenges in the next week. Well, does the current immigration law offer any protection for travelers being detained in the U.S., Nina? Well, for example, a, a green card holder is a, a person of a protected class. Um, you know, they certainly can't be discriminated against in a, a workplace. So as a protected person, certainly these green card holders should be allowed back in. Um, they have broken no laws. The UN uh, the, you know, they're, the they're not criminals. Uh, there's no reason why they should not be let back in. This is really punitive um, and has no basis. There's a lot of debate right now centered around the uh, UN Refugee Convention and whether this would be a violation of that. Certainly. I mean, if, if you look at the um, actual background checks that go on for refugees, they go through years, uh, sometimes, you know, two, three years of background checks. So certainly that could be a violation. Um, but also looking at the people who apply for visas, you know, the, the Iraqi uh, uh, interpreters who have helped U.S. soldiers, uh, you know, when, when these guys can't come in, um, you know, it really endangers our, our soldiers abroad. Mm -hmm. um, what about the people with dual citizenships, Nina, and the permanent resident cards or green cards as they're known? Will they be allowed to enter the U.S.? So there's been a little confusion over that. Um, you know, some people are dual U.S. and, uh, you know, their, their other nationality holders. Um, from what we've been told, U.S passport holders would still be allowed in. You could get some rogue agents who may, uh, you know, still give them trouble at the airport. Uh, but now let's say you have someone who's a Syrian and French passport holder. You know, we have been told that they would not be allowed in. I see. Do you expect this process to go swiftly or could it be drug out for months? So the actual order says that this is for 90 days. Um, but just the sheer backlash, you know, we've seen people just sprung into action. It could definitely see, um, you know, there could be re repercussions for months and months. Well, Nina Duda, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it in New York.